Hello, great you welcome to another one. We remember posting this where we were talking about a conference that is happening in London with Professor Hubert Angel's son, Hubert Angel Jr. Well, a lot of things have been happening which are so unexplainable and I'm going to be showing you what really happened yesterday on the first day on the 27th of January. Let's get into it. Let's watch these prophecies and um supernatural experiences that we saw miracles healings let's get into it like share comment and subscribe tell us what you think about this in the comment section god bless you in such a generation that has been so westernized with the worldly systems god can still do this and this is only the beginning of greater of what god is doing when everybody thought, why do a conference at this time? It's the end of the month. It's the beginning of the year. But we know we have done it for the saving of souls. We know we are doing it for kingdom. We are not waiting. We are not using any marketing strategy. Our marketing strategy is the Lord Jesus Christ. We know he will bring the people. And we know the healing shall be administered through his name. So there is nothing that we need to do for it is the Lord. I speak now upon you in the name of Jesus. May the Lord amplify your voice. May the Lord amplify your voice. Brother, come here. Stand here. I want to pray for you. Just stand here. And who did you come here with? My son. Don't say their names. Just tell them to come. Hi. Your son, your who else? And your friend. Please come here. Good to see you. And I don't mean to embarrass you at all. Just don't worry. I'm just going to embarrass you for two minutes. Okay? Praise the Lord. Just tell me. How did you find out about this conference? Um, I came to... Don't say I, your name or where you're coming from. Okay, I, I saw Uber Angel in London. Yes. When he, he, he came in place of Benny Hinn. Yes. And then after that, I went to the meeting in Birmingham and I met your mom there. Malia Kabaya yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Wow. Celebrate him. <laughs> Were you prophesied to? Yes. Someone prophesied to you? You, yeah, yeah. No, not, oh. not me. I know I'm prophesying to you now. But is someone prophesying? Is anyone prophesying besides me? Oh, definitely, yeah. yeah. Who prophesied to you? Um, I was not, not another man of God in this church. Oh, no, no, in no. This church. okay. That's what I care about. No. Now, you can tell me. Because let me tell you, my brother. What the Lord told me to tell you is that the Lord is doing a shift in your life. Amen. But this is not a shift. It is an unction and impartation that the Lord is placing upon your life. Amen. Amen. Brother, you better be excited for what God is doing. <laughs> because Hallelujah. as I'm seeing you now, the Lord told me that power is exchanging hands into your hands. Hallelujah. It's not only power of the Holy Spirit, but this is financial ability. Hallelujah. <laughs> because when I saw this man, it is not only the prophetic he shall operate in, but I saw his heart for the things of God. And he was praying for the healing unction. Hallelujah. For God to use him to heal the sick. Yes. The Lord told yes, me true. that it's what true. you see today with all these healings, Amen. you shall operate in today. Amen. Amen. Because I receive it. I receive it. when I first located him, the Lord told me to talk to him. And when I first talked to him, when I first saw him now, and the Lord is telling me to talk to him, I was just passing her by. And the Lord told me to bring him out now. But when I'm seeing him, when I saw him before I pulled him out, I was seeing something. And the Lord began to, as we are here now, the Lord began to take me to a different dimension. And it was only night. And it was a very dark night. And as I'm in this dark night, I'm seeing this man there. And then I begin to see a gentleman standing behind him. But this gentleman was dressed up as Batman. <laughs> That's when the Lord began to show me Batman next to him. And then this Batman, he has his new form and his name is Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Wayne. Yeah, my Wayne. name is Wayne. Your name is Wayne. Yeah. <laughs>
from young the enemy attacked you and the Lord told me that the same attack of the enemy upon his life was the same attack the enemy wanted to perpetuate against the life of Matthew I'm seeing Matthew you know Matthew right yes, yes. you know the Matthew I'm talking about yes yes where is his mother now uh, she passed away she passed away yes this is why I said I saw a spirit of death roaming around the family but the Lord said we need to pray for Matthew because he shall his faith shall be boosted through you amen amen through you yes because you think that oh no God has placed an anointing upon you Amen. of Amen. fresh fire yes. that when you speak, other people shall catch it in the name of Jesus. Lift him up, lift him up, lift him up, lift him up. Meliana, I speak now. From young, the enemy tried to attack you. You were into de demonic things. Yeah. Demonic things. Yes. What were you into? Uh, like the occult, the Ouija board and everything. From the occult, the from, Ouija board. That was from an early age when I was... From what uh, age, roughly? Uh, about eight, nine. Age nine? Yeah. I was, to what age? Um, till about, I was 13. 13? Uh, yeah, and I got saved because I was outside a pub. Um, I got saved when I was 14. Wow. Um, I sat outside the pub and there was a church opposite the pub and I just felt the Lord, somebody, something... Somebody Shot said, failure. go into the church. <laughs> Wow, that was an encounter that took place. Yeah. So right now, I want us to pray for an encounter the same way the Lord caused an encounter to take place with you. I wanted us to pray for it to take place with Matthew. Amen, amen. With Matthew. Okay. Because he's young now, but the plan of the enemy is to cause these demonic thoughts to be upon him the same way they were upon you. Yes. Are you getting what yeah, I'm saying? I'm getting what you're saying. You're getting what I'm yes, saying? Yes, I do. That's the plan of the enemy. You get what I'm saying? All right. That's the plan of the enemy. So we want to pray and join hands now for Matthew, this one, Matthew, and this one beginning with A, beginning with A. I don't know if it's like Aretha or Ashley or someone. Ashley. 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 Who is that? He's my nephew. That's your nephew? Yes. Yes. We need to pray for Ashley as well. Do you know Ashley? You know Ashley? Are you surprised how we know these things? Yes. Yeah. I know It is not by doing of men, but by the Holy Spirit. My brother, you don't know that by you coming here, you didn't come by, by you didn't come for yourself. You came for a generation of people in your Amen. family. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Are you getting this, my brother? Yes. So through you, the Lord shall be glorified. Amen. Hallelujah. I want us Thank to pray you, for Ashley. I'm gonna pray for you after I pray for you. When we begin to pray, pray for this Ashley, pray for this Matthew, and pray for him and his family. Thank you, Jesus. And my brother, I want you to know it is done. Hallelujah. Let me pray for Amen. you now. Lift up your hands. I speak now. Let there be an energizing of the Holy Spirit. An energizing of the Holy Spirit. By the Holy Spirit. Send him up, pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. The Holy Spirit is not done with him. I speak now by the Spirit of God. Let there be a shift in the name of Jesus. A mighty shift. Palika Paradoshe. By the Spirit of God. There's a shift taking place in his life. Because he came here today. Let there be a shift. And because of his dedication, rise him up. Like the horn of a unicorn for him and his family. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, begin to pray for him and his family. Like you are praying for yourself. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. What is second place? testimonies are flowing in. See, healing, healing testimonies from online, are flowing from. Before I touch our sister online. here. Online. Online. Yes, what is second place? is saying that they had chest pain for months and mm. that it, it had started becoming worse and worse and worse and worse to the point where right now when you said they should lay their hands on their head and start praying, she said she just felt the pain vanishing from her. Absolutely Ale. gone. Absolutely gone. Gone. Nothing. Chest pain, it disappeared. Chest pain that had gotten to an extreme. Any pain, it level. is disappearing now. Hallelujah. And our sister here is here. Yes. <laughs> I can one... see the Holy Spirit has touched you. You are crying. Where are you coming from? Um, I come from West London. West London. Is it your first time here? Yeah. It's your first time here. Yeah. And sister, what took place? Tell me what took place. Me to come here? No, no, no. If, if I, how did you come here? What did you find? How Ebony. Did you, huh? Ebony. Emily. Ebony. Which Emily? Ebony, sir. She invited you? All right. Wow. Praise the Lord. 
And what took place to her? See, when she walked up to me, all she said was, I don't know what's happening to me. That's literally what she, she said. She said, I don't know what's happening she said, to me. She said, I don't me. know what's taking place. She said, because in my life, I've been experiencing so many things and I've been thinking too much because of the things I'm going through. Wow. But while we were praying here, she right. just said she doesn't know. It just felt as if something was touching it and something just left. And she can't explain it. You can't explain it. How do you feel? I don't know. I, I, I just... It's unexplainable. It is unexplainable, but at the same time, it's, I still don't understand a lot. Amen. Are you hearing what she's saying? She can't even comprehend it. The Holy Spirit is going to change your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. And let me tell you something. The enemy did not bank on you coming here today. You came with your friend. Who, you're the friend. Come here. <laughs> Melia Ka. Watch her. Stand with her, stand with her, stand with her, stand with her. Hold her hand, help her. The Lord told me to tell you, there have been many things that have gone on in your life, yeah. but the Lord told me, forget which is former, for God is causing a greater work to take place in your life. Yeah. Are you hearing me, my sister? After this conference, during this conference, in fact, we have not even gone far. There's a shift that is taking place in your life. I, do you believe God and you know it shall take place? Yes. It shall take place. Touch this. By the Spirit of God, I speak by the Holy Ghost. Every plan of the enemy upon your life, it is broken in the name of Jesus. I speak now in the name of Jesus. Celebrate the Lord. Power has many different forms. There are some of you, you will begin to know things in the realm of the spirit. Things that you didn't know will begin to be revealed to you. There are some of you, you will begin to cry. Because you know the finger of God has touched you in such a mighty way. And there are some of you, you begin to know things. Things you didn't know before, you begin to know things. Some of you, there's a movement of the Holy Spirit that takes place. Why? Power has different forms. And power is touching you now in the name of Jesus. Come up, come up, come up. What is taking place? Celebrate what God is doing right now. Yes, what is taking place? See, our sister here, she's been yes. short-sighted for over 20 years. Short-sighted in both eyes or which eye? Both eyes. Both eyes, you've been short-sighted. Yes, yes, How many yes. years? Over 20 years. 20 years. Yes. Now, see, she sits on, on the fifth row, and from there, she cannot read the Bible verses without her glasses. Wow. And she from says the faces are blurry. On the fifth row, you can't read the Bible verses. No. Wow. Now, Sia, when you said lay hands on your head, she did that. And she said, even though her eyes were closed, she said she saw a light. When she opened her eyes and the words came up, Sia, all of a sudden she could see she has been completely healed. Somebody. Your level of joy. Listen, give me this one. Do you see? I, I kiss you in the name of Jesus. Somebody celebrate! Jesus, come here, sister. Put a Bible verse there, because we need people to know that this is taking place. Sit down, sit down, that you're here. Come here, come here, my sister. We need to test this thing. Abaliakova. Put a Bible scripture there, quickly, quickly, media team, quickly. Somebody pray for the media for impartation. Can you read this one? I want you to read. Ask and it shall be given to you. Abaliaka. <laughs> Watch this. Continue. Ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, you shall. Um. Don't worry, it's the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Don't worry, Seek read you, it. You shall find knock. Um, it shall. Take your time, it's taking place. Um, knock, and it shall be opened unto you. The living God, Yeshua, Hamashiach, the God of prophet, you better angel. Come here, my sister. We don't fake 
miracles in spirit embassy. We will test it and test it and test it. Let me pray for you so it can increase. Increase in the name of Jesus. Power of the Holy Ghost. Maleria Daskova. Somebody lift up the name of the Lord. Lift up the name of the Father. from the church without walls on youtube what is taking place pastor Denzel? so many are coming in we've got uh -huh. a lady here and she says i really want to what's thank the name god. of the lady the lady's name is christina lukindo okay and she said i really want to thank god because i had a blocked nose completely blocked, blocked. Nose. completely blocked completely blocked uh -huh. and then she said when you said put your hands on your head and start praying uh -huh. what she wrote here she said it's as if i have a brand new nose <laughs> totally open somebody your level of joy is you are here praying for your eyes may the lord give you brand new eyesight you are praying for your healing i see the lord giving you a brand new ear you are praying for sense of smell. The Lord is opening your airwaves now. You are praying for neck pains to be healed. The Lord is healing you now. Chronic back pain is being healed now. You are using a walking chair. A, 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 what's this? A walking stick. By the Spirit of God, I speak. We curse any infirmity and walking abnormality. By the Spirit of God, let it take place by fire. Someone shout fire. Jesus. Yeah, more miracles coming and more miracles. Yes. This